entertainment. Yes. Yeah, you could just come in and promote the show. Yes, I believe I. I, it, well, he does, I don't want to. I don't want to disparage things, but there's a rumor that he's a. Uh, He's got a drinking problem. <laughs> he is. He's a he's a, a, a gentleman who enjoys to imbibe an alcohol. <laughs> Can't wait for that guy on YouTube. Looks like his name. So this. What are you doing? Now he's they, they took the gloves off. Apparently. <laughs> now he makes a video about Nathaniel. you. That's the way. Right. Right. Nathaniel, he used to be on the show a long time ago. I don't know if you know him. And then he has to get up because his, uh, his studio lights turn off because it's his laundry room. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking about? The guy on YouTube oh. who makes gossip videos about us. Yeah, that's what I love. That's great. That's awesome. That's all he does. Gossip so videos. this week. Tell him I want entertainment music in that fucking video, whatever. You better put some entertainment music because it's a really fucking jazzy story. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy that makes, uh... Oh, awful. There's a guy that makes, like, YouTube videos about me every day, and they're completely false, and yeah. just a whole bunch of lies. He's extremely obsessed with me. It's scary. It's scary. And now he's going to use this clip on his next fucking video. Yeah, he's just so big. Now, I see Zion's I know we have to. <laughs> I see him. I respect anybody who's on their YouTube hustle, okay? I don't, I, you know, I don't care what, 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 I don't care if, but honestly, if you run a YouTube channel that's all gossip about, like, me and the people that I work with, I think it's cool. I don't, I, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't This is all and, being recorded yeah. or some shit because, because people are laughing. called numbers. Is it called right. numbers? Do you have a channel? I have a channel. Start it around the same time. This channel, will, I'm on right here. Start it around the same time as you. I never, I never paid Jimmernam for bots, nigga. I never paid Jimmernam for bots. You do. I paid Jimmernam. Me and the dude who just went to war right now. I paid him. What are you, you're saying that? Smart isn't shit. That the guy who showed, isn't that the guy who showed that you do? Where this other show, they talk about you, and then you talk about them, and they talk about you. And then that's your whole show. So my whole show is talking about me, but I thought it was talking about you. Which one is it? Is it talking about you or is it talking about me? talking about shit that no one cares about. You talk about fucking Opie and Anthony gossip from 10 years ago. You talk about a podcast that one person listens to every week. Wait, your podcast? Oh! Oh, 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 shit, nigga! Uh, that was quick, come on. I am fucking my brother's girlfriend's daughter. You are? I'm sorry, I fucking laugh at that Anthony clip every goddamn time. <laughs> I am fucking my brother's daughter. <laughs> you are. I like that part at the end. You are. <laughs> what the fuck is up? Um, it's it's still morning time on Sunday. What the fuck am I doing here? I saw um, Jimmernam had a bit of a tweet storm last night, and I found it too funny. And I finally got to listen to some of him trashing, uh, what's her name, Tara's bum. So I'm thinking about the place of that shit. <laughs> Sup, the Robcast, who is Trevor Snick. He's so proud. <laughs> That's Casey. I know it's Sunday morning. Sunday. I don't know, I might hop in the fucking, I know Tef Pattern is streaming right now, I might hop in his live here, go bother them for a little bit later. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, this nut job, German, I, I gotta show you all this, I, I, I have to show you this. There's my little display capture, did I put this? Alright, so, this nut, honoring St. Jimmy this fine Sunday morning. All right, I, I'm going to count out all the... He sent out the same tweet mad times, and I just find it fucking retardedly funny. So, um... All right, so we got... Wait, let's go to the beginning. Where, where, where's the beginning? Oh, wait, that's when he drops that. Okay, so, um... He starts out with this, uh... This tweet, and he's trying to hit up every cam girl in the thing. <laughs> And he put, Tara's bum is an adult sex industry cam model doxer. Apparently, she supports doxing innocent females and minor children aged 9 to 12 years old. Here's a link that exposes her. And then he keeps linking. And then he hits all them. 
then he just keeps on uh, fucking tweeting the same goddamn thing. So this is from last night. Look at all these tweets right here. It's the same tweet that goes on 50 fucking times. <laughs> he kept, And it's all he did it all within like an hour span. Because they all say eight hours ago he did it. So, um, all right, let's count how many times. All right, he started right here. And he puts Tara's bum docs to my ex-wife and minor kids aged 9 to 12. Hashtag Kim model doxer. <laughs> I find this shit too fucking funny. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, so he he tweeted that same thing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 26, 27, 28, 51, 52, 53, 54 times. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he, he kind of tweeted that same thing a lot. He tweeted the same thing 54 times in an hour. Wow. Now, it's the same tweet. However, I do believe that he's not a... He's just tagging new people in him. So he's tagging like Mobile MFC, The Community, Ash Marie. He tweeted the same tweet though 54 fucking times. Holy shit. <laughs> that is, um, that, that, that's a minute fucking bipolar shit to tweet the same thing 54 fucking times holy fucking shit so um apparently he's trying to say that Tara's bum Tara's bum uh docked his wife and kids even though she exposed that it was Jim Renan who docked his wife and kids himself and of course he did because that's the only thing that makes sense and it was perfect so um yeah, he's insane, but uh, let me play some of this thing. So, it wasn't just tweets. Part three of the German Amp thing was trashing Tara. And uh, I wanted to play some of it because I found that to be funny. Because you just hear, like, his insanity. And it's hilarious to me. And he's, uh... All right, this is part three. <laughs> you might skip part two. It's, there's really nothing there. Uh, my computer goes to shit when I use Discord sometimes. That's just the deal. So I Saint highly Jimmer. recommend you I watch still can't part one going so you get all Jimmer. the information you need to make a determination on where you want. All right, let's get into you're, it. You're not lasting more than 30 minutes, there. This is bizarre. And then, she, you know what? Everybody in there, somebody's got to be in there. Undercover, okay. dude. I know there's undercover still in there. Spread the word to all the cam women in there. That are friends with to find out who they are and let them know to watch that first broadcast I did about Tara revealing her as a doxing supporter. It's very important. A People doxing need to know supporter. about this. They can because what they have blacklist and she needs to be put on it. Let me go ahead and put her name up there real quick. What so a people con know. And they yeah. can do the investigation themselves and they could come to their own conclusion. And uh part of his plan obviously was to then tweet fucking fifty four tweets of the same tweet what up husey yo i'm just playing this uh a consumer name this nigga went insane again how do you tweet the same thing 54 fucking times you have to have no friends or a life pretty much Conclusion. but we're telling you right oh, now yeah. right here it was done tonight, and she was a part of it. She donated to it. She was she partake. Did she even call in? I, I didn't even listen to the show, but did she? Was she there? 
partake. I didn't listen to the entire thing, but I was on it for like a. I don't know. They were saying that you would be mad at me for what I said, but I didn't think I said anything wrong. So I don't know if you heard it, but but no, no, I did. I I heard Tara, Tara was on it for a little bit. Though, actually, okay. So she, she she's a part she of that place. On. Yeah, she came on. Yeah, she was on Jimmer it. says, dude, there my kid has seen porn. He saw porn Proof on his iPod when I called him. It happened. She had no problem coming on air with them. He seems to keep my kids in so porn. She's on on there. Yeah, I remember. I know. I mean, enough. Said. I just find this all to really. I found the, um, him tweeting at her 54 fucking times the same thing to be the funniest thing about it. <laughs> Do you think he only ever tweets her when he's on the toilet or naked? Probably. I, I just assume he's naked all the time. That's why he doesn't come on camera anymore. By the way, is he in my suite? Uh, I seen the stream the other night with that Irish tip guy. Yeah. What the yeah. fuck is that? <laughs> I don't know. Nikki. He was bombing. <laughs> I actually had to turn off the stream and vomit. <laughs> that nigga was fucking chipping it up like a motherfucker and not trying to. You can't use that word. Here's in. What word beginning with N and ending in R does Anthony Cumia never want to call a black person? A nagger? Neighbor. <laughs> it does happen that kids look at porn, but they shouldn't be given to porn by an adult. I know, but they were sort of defending it, which is still weird. All right, let's see, get back into more of this... Um, Going after Tara's vote. Enough said, dude. I'm done yeah, with it now. Enough said, dude, brah. If you're <laughs> done with it, I'm done with it. Leave me alone. Yeah, let's, Back ten, brother. Fucker. let's move on. Yeah, Tara, if you're done with it, I'm done with it. Get the it, hell out. See, let's move on. There's still another go two hours to go in this trash. A good <laughs> entrepreneur, okay? Don't be a dumb one. Like, you, you've been really bad these days. I'm sure you're not making much money. But you okay. have enough. Go be a horrible podcast. That's what the world really needs right now. Another later, and she's so, still here. What is it? You're still here. Oh, still here. It's crazy, it, dude. It's been like four months, right? Since we left, we ditched the cam girls, right? And I did Basically. you a favor by doing that. You didn't you ditch them; they left. What is he talking about? That, but you, can't. you can't get rid of. Tara. He doesn't yeah, remember any of it, though. Jessica. Yeah. The yellow mamba. Too dumb to, she doesn't even know how to get back in. Talk she about just bumped into walls. Talk about another but doctor. Tara's like a really bad case of like bed bug. She's like herpes. She just won't go away. <laughs> he would know. I know. <laughs> good. And his comedy's like AIDS. <laughs> She's a case of herps, man. Tara herps. Tara's herps. Tara herps. <laughs> That's, oh, that's not even a pun. Nothing like a. Like a no, they're cracking party. themselves up. Hashtag dumb life. <laughs> Remember bum life? No, it's dumb life. Fuck yeah! Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag leave, Korean leave, humor. Leave. Fucking. Oh, home yeah. run. No, she's still here. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, Fucking. Fran she, right now, she's frantically on YouTube reporting the stream. <laughs> she's just like typing. They called me stupid. They called me dumb whore. They call me ugly. Take got down. <laughs> they got a picture of my dog. Oh my, <laughs> my god. Dog. They called me dumb for sticking a frog Fuck in my foot. Gangnam style. Dude, YouTube's going to uh, reply He's back or say, dog. YouTube's going to reply to her and complain and be like, dude, you're a you're fucking a idiot. You kill that dog. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like, hey, Tara's dog? dumb. Nice to meet you, Tara's dumb. Uh, we found this, we found this complaint dumb. Just yeah. like, you and your wow. entire family. What a comedy duo and I'm yourself. listening to here. <laughs> go Can you believe crack. she's going to uh, she's going to report this and go, they have my name across the fucking screen. And they <laughs> the YouTube looks at it. Is your name Tara's dumb? <laughs> yes. I've seen name. funnier World War II <laughs> documentaries than this. Tara's dumb. Oh. Can you email us your uh, well, you know, license so we could <laughs> make sure those Holocaust you. videos are hilarious. Tara dumb. Yeah, but Nazis are, are infamous for their sense of humor. You put on Facebook. I'm not talking about on YouTube. About but I'm talking about ones that support the <laughs> others. You know what I'm and talking about. Like, <laughs> you happen to kill that puppy. Uh, that the liars, the exaggerators of a puppy. Yeah, How could we, you do we that? heard you had hurt. Hello, Tara. Tell us. So, uh, 
How how severe are your herpes? Okay. What are you taking medication for your herpes, Tara? Are you uh, or are you just spreading it around, not caring, just being like, oh, whatever, it's herpes, who cares? Hold hold on. I... Whoa. No soup for you. What's the uh, O and A talk you've got planned there, uh, Pretty Eyes? Uh, oh, oh, why? Thank you. Ah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk some ONA. Anthony's surprisingly not back on fucking um, Twitter yet, but um, I've been binge watching Opie's podcast. I still haven't gotten to the Scott. Everyone keeps telling me that one's kind of good, but I don't know if they're still in the you know trolling of Opie's the greatest person ever phase yet. So the bullshit in me. This OP podcast, my God, it sucks. <laughs> it really stinks. But here's the other thing. The Anthony Cumia show, it stinks too. Like, I have compound media. And like, before you went on vacation, I was just missing shows. I just didn't care. Ugh. I need to come back together already. Enough of this shit. Can I give you a spoiler about what you've missed on Ant's show? What I miss? He spoke about Black Cran. Oh, my God. Yeah, apparently he's not uh, for it. Really? Holy yeah. shit. By the way, can I just, can I just uh, take this time to make an apology? <laughs> I'd like to apologize for being a cisgendered white male. I, I've been doing the best I can to stop it, but I just love Cooter so much. It's very good that you check your white privilege like that. Oh, <laughs> Kyle, uh, one? Kyle, are you trying to say Jimmer can't afford clothes? I'm trying to say the cockroach just got the clothes and they ate them. So he's just walking around naked. Can't stream anymore, probably. So you tell me that the Jimmer used to get webcam girls on his show? Because I honestly have only ever heard of him through your rants. Yeah, um, all of his co-hosts were basically these cam girls. And... Um, then he started doxing one. Well, he doxed mad people, but they finally got upset when he kept doxing this one cam girl. So they all left, and now um, they hate all hate each other because he's insane. So. Well, what? Um, but were they naked on the show? No. So what the fuck were they doing there? That was sort of all of our points. But, um, that's, like, that's like hiring a fucking chef to come on your show to talk about sports. I know. He was trying. He was really into Show your ass, honey. He was really into his stern phase. So, but uh, you can't show naked chicks on YouTube. So, I don't know. You know, they're saying that uh, Patreon is going to be the thing that takes away from YouTube. Are they? I fucking hate Patreon. Yeah, because the same, because you could, uh, you, well, not that you can show, like, uh, you know, flaps and stuff on Patreon, but, like, you could you could put, like, a teaser for this to then get your podcast on the Patreon, and people have to pay a, oh, yeah. a bit of fucking cake. I mean, there's no copyright strikes at Patreon, so, mm -hmm. trust me, if you go to my Patreon, and you're one of my Patreons, although I hate it. And if you're ever going to give me money, just hit the fucking Streamlabs link. But uh, I stick up shit over there that wouldn't get taken down in a second on YouTube. Bunch of compound media stuff. I got Patrice O'Neill's roast from the Charlie Sheen roast uh, set up over there. Because the th uh, Hankenstein, uh, one or two people did once think I was funny. <laughs> I saw that Opie followed you, so he's probably definitely coming on your podcast. Yeah, we've been well. I've been private mailing them, but it's we it's weird because I don't want to uh, pardon the pun be a pest, yeah. but at the same time, be on the fucking show. You know, I just recorded a a, a sketch today, so to speak, of me reviewing Ed Sheeran. But uh, you'll see on episode five, baby. <laughs> but see, you're in a weird position because you have to know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah, when you have Opie on, you, you, you're going to not want to try and fuck it up, but at the same time, you're probably like, but I need to have something happen on here to make it interesting. Mm. I, I am going to ask him about uh, the Beige Frequency documentaries. Yeah, I'll give you his answer. He'll just say, I don't know who that is. I'm just living my life. 
that he'll give you that. You you would have to get um, personal. Say, um, like, here's a good question to ask him. Ask him, uh, what do you think about Anthony being banned off of Twitter six times? And then he'll lead into some good shit off of that. Or and also, I might ask as well about uh, his what's his opinion on Jimmy uh, going off social media. Yeah, no. Another good thing is his opinion about Jimmy being upset about uh, his contract negotiations at Sirius. That'll lead him down on good Jimmy's smashing. I bet. <laughs> oh, uh, but that's the other thing is that like, see, as much as I like Jim Norton. He, he's done nothing to deserve uh, a raise. Well, none of them have. I mean, like I've always said, the Jim and, there's no such thing as a Jim and Sam fan. There are Opie and Anthony fans who listen to Jim and Sam. But, I mean, and where's he going to go? They can't go to regular radio. So, unless they do like a podcast or something, there's really nowhere to go. Joseph McQuillan. <laughs> Speaking of podcasts, and this was something I meant to talk to you about, and I don't want to say the name because it's not official, but I've been talking to this uh, company who are to their, uh, their podcast network, and they've been talking about me joining, if I can get the views up a bit more, and it being sort of a Patreon-only podcast. Really? Which could, because the same the Patreon is could be the way forward. Because fucking YouTube, you can't. If you say ass, they'll take off your thing. Yeah. So um, they have to have some sort of audience since they're Patreon only. I I think that would be smart. Sort of like a come town type of thing, right? What? <laughs> yeah, sort of like you know those come town guys. You know they do that, right? <laughs> the come town podcast. Oh. But, but, but I was going to say, was, um, <laughs> if it happened to work out, people like you and what do you call your guy, Cosmic and all, Yeah, you guys should do a show together because your, your chemistry is fabulous. <laughs> uh, the Patreon thing would be interesting. It's just that I hate Patreon. What a fucking passion. Now, YouTube does have it set up to where you can just do YouTube and Patreon at the same time. So you're doing um, a YouTube stream, but I think... Only your Patreons can see it, or only they can type in the chat. I I don't know which one it is exactly, but you can set it up that way too. So you're on Patreon and at YouTube. But uh, I just hate Patreon because of the fucking fees, uh, the processing. They only pay you out on a fucking the first. But I do get how people might move to it as the future. I mean, YouTube has become extremely gay and lame. Because there's a guy I was talking to. He's got 100 subscribers from his pod on his podcast. Yeah, and he's and he's making about uh, 400 a month from it, which is insane yet brilliant. Yeah, I mean, the 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 thing with Patreon is, of course, most people aren't going to follow you, but some people will, and if they're paying, I mean, like. When I get on Kumia for his lame uh, subscriber numbers, mainly because he claimed he had 100,000 paid ones. But, I mean, if he's got 5,000 people paying like 60 bucks a year or 10 bucks a month, that's a pretty good piece of change. Well, until you well what, what you could literally do is, uh, you know the way you used to do uh, the videos of like, on, uh, <clears throat> fuck it, I'll try to do the voice again. We would go, tonight on YouTube, I'll be talking about Twitter and saying the N word and Jim and M. And then you could uh, put that straight on to Patreon and say to people, if you want it, you go there. That's how you get it. Yeah. There's, so there, there, there's Patreon, and um, that's really about it. I mean, you could just move to like Twitch if someone wanted to, but then it's a bitch to get fucking monetized over there. Mm -hmm. Like my boy, Phil has been doing Twitch for literally about four years. I think a couple of months ago he made his first hundred bucks off of it. And they got it like YouTube where you got to make a hundred bucks to even get paid out. So like even Twitch, you're not even really making money off of ad revenue. It's just people mostly bit sharing in that building up. (laughs) 
opponent. Radio good. How, how come, uh, fuck yeah, how come you're streaming uh, so early today? Yeah, I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> I was bored, nothing to do, Sunday. And I, I, I ordered um, Stanley Burgers from DoorDash yesterday. And the, the delivery driver handed me a gift card and he said, here's a $75 gift card to Stanley Burgers. I guess they have some like in-store contest and they had him pick it out. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to get mad. Stanley Burger shit. They're closed on Sunday. Fucked up my whole plan. Cunt. Motherfucker. Who closes on Sunday? Oh, by the way, i seen a question here in the chat. Did some anyone see Carla's videos? i seen them. i fucking seen them all night long. Oh. Oh, yeah, I've seen Carlos live stream. <laughs> oh yeah, did you get in trouble with uh, with the misses? Nah. Oh, hey, Kyle, uh, Kyle, does it ever piss you off that you've so many subs on here yet they don't follow you over on Twitter? Uh, no. What pisses me off is I got my original Twitter fucking banned. I had I had a Twitter with over thirteen hundred followers before I ever did YouTube, and then that. Fucking Sue Lightning, fucking zit faced Afro hiding his race, fucking motherfucking trampa, fuck got it, it taken down, that cocksucker. You fucking, do you know how much celebrities I used to battle and shit, and they had to <laughs> address me because I actually had, I had 1,300 Twitter followers and I was only following like 200 people. My uh, my Twitter at its biggest, I had something like 32,000 followers. Because uh, I don't know, if it used to it used to not be gay marriage wasn't legal here, and I'm not like a libtard, but I think that's wrong. So because I would say pro LGBT shit, I get all these followers, but then all I talk about is superheroes and Trump and fucking <laughs> yeah. wrestling. So everyone unfollowed me. Tons. Well, that's how I got over thirteen hundred. It was during the election, well pre election. I was really, I was like hitting all those Podesta email WikiLeaks drops. Like, I did, I was doing, like, the first thing. Then, like, 10 minutes, Paul Joseph Watson would tweet the same thing because we're all going through them at the same time. So for about 10 minutes, I got mad retweets and people following me until that InfoWars cocksucker took all the credit because he already had fucking 100,000 Twitter followers or something. But That, that guy, Paul, uh, whatever his name is, he he's a weird one to me. It's like he... he the fact that he poses in his photographs makes me think, eh, probably not in it for the right reasons. <laughs> but that's how I, I got my I fucking... I bloody love liberal. I hate liberals. He has a weird accent. But, uh, yeah, so that was my original Twitter, and then I got banned, and then got banned again, then got banned again, and then I think I'm... I'm like Kumia. I'm on my eighth fuck, like, fifth Twitter account. But, uh... I'm not living in a mansion, so. <laughs> How does he? But uh, what was it? Was it something specifically he was doing that kept getting him shut down? Well, the big thing is the tranny thing, you know. Is that <laughs> he kept talking about trannies, you know, his sexuality, whatever. The last one, though, he got himself taken down because a bunch of people were uh, making fake Anthony Cumia twitters. <laughs> And getting actual people to follow him and like trying to book people on his uh, Anthony Cumia show. So he started reporting them and, and like showing his ID saying, I'm the real Anthony Cumia and all these people are imposters. And then the people on Twitter go, oh, and you're banned. So they banned him again. <laughs> this dumbass got himself banned. Did you happen to catch the interview I did with Beige? Yeah. He fucking, uh, I had to edit out. He dropped the M word twice during it. Oh, did he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. Well, to be fair, he was quoting Owen Benjamin. Oh, dear, fucking Owen Benjamin. Enough of him. Hate him. All right, Car Carla Kitty seems to be getting into an argument here in the chat. Is she? <laughs> uh, somebody, she's talking about eating her ass. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, uh, got my Twitter shut down and, uh, yeah, people should follow me on fucking Twitter, you motherfuckers. I think I'm today just got 200 followers on my newest Twitter. Whoa. Look out. Uh, <laughs> I used to have fucking, you know, all the celebrities that used to follow me. 
Not that many, but <laughs> you know those weird ones that blue check starts following you. Like, who the fuck is this guy? William I had uh, the third and shit. I used to have a, a celebrity following me. Um, do you know the actor Frank Grillo? No. He was in um, uh, the Purge two and three. I'm trying to think of the second Purge. Oh yeah, all oh, right, the main guy. Yeah, and he was in the uh, he was the bad guy in Captain America two and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he used to follow me, but then um, people went after him because uh, because uh, the the liberals get uh, thought something he said was racist, and that which must be shocking because that never happens. Yeah, exactly. I used to have fucking uh, Kumia following me, but oh, that was a whole blow up. <laughs> so what? By the, by the way, this is what I, I meant to ask you. Um, if you go to the chip stream or say the chip show, and they either don't let you in or you go into the room under some sort of commotion, uh, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm a be me, and uh, like let's say <laughs> um, they don't let me in. That phone will be whipped out, and I'll be saying. <laughs> This white supremacist Jim Norton is kicking out the only black person of his show. <laughs> and he's, yeah, and he's got a shaved head. Yeah. Um, uh, but it's a Jim Norton thing. It's not a Kumia thing. So, of course, I'm going to be let in. I'm just going to go. I got my ticket already on my phone. Just go show my phone. Boom. In. I'm going to be live streaming before and after. You know what you should do? It would be hilarious because uh, they don't edit that show. You should run up onto the stage at the end of it. Yeah, I should just run up on. No, I'm not going to do that. Just show up, run up and go, it's usually hello. <laughs> just plug you. <laughs> yeah. uh, but, uh, you, know, you know what you should really do, Carl? Uh, you should make a video on YouTube and, and play like sad music and talk about. YouTube won't monetize me because I'm black. <laughs> and you should play like Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. And then be like, don't cry for me. I'm all cried out. How did Everybody Hurts go? Every you feel like an alone. I just realized every R.E.M. song sounds exactly the same. Oh, <laughs> God. But they're good, though. And they're singers gay, so we'll have to like them. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. The spot. Like, like oh, losing my religion. I'm singing R.E.M. for Christ's sakes. But um, yeah, for the Chip Live podcast, um, the live stream uh, is coming up soon. Is it the uh, 14th? And it, the shitty thing is, the next day, I'm going to be live streaming on the main channel because I'm finally going to have my uh, copyright lifted. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be streaming before it. I just want to look at Anthony's face. Like I've said before, it's going to be like when Seinfeld saw the pilot in the audience. You know, seeing him out there really freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, know. should, uh, you should try and wear, uh, like, Nigerian garb in. <laughs> Nigerian garb? Yeah, like, like really, like, uh, black it up and... Uh, Really, really, whatever you can just to put on the off. Oh, wait, this guy, he says, Kyle can have the music playing and be silent and just flash the cards with writing on them like in sad videos. Each card he reveals gets sadder. Oh, that would be <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> yeah, you should show like pictures of like the Rwandan genocide and, and uh, the starving kids in Africa and then OJ Simpson. Yes, uh, Penelope. Jim Renam tweeted the same tweet attacking Tara's bum 54 times last night and then trashed her on his stream. But, um, yeah, the, the Chip Live podcast. So apparently, Broke Bard's going to be, he says he's going to be there. I don't know. But I'm going to be there. Like I said, I've already gotten legitimately people saying they want to take a couple pictures with me, including Broke Bar. Some people in the Teft thing who are going to be there. And I'm like, sure, I'll take a picture with you niggas. I think, uh, but actually, because uh, I've seen that stream and people were, were making fun of you for saying that, but I think they will. 
Like what? Because the thing is, nobody's ever actually seen what you look like. We, we can see the top third of your face. Yeah. We don't know if you're tall or if you. Well, we know you can walk because you took a piss on the air. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't know, like, are you are you muscular? Are you tall? Are you short? Are you a flat pig or whatever? Here's a true fact: no one has ever seen Teft Pattern stand up. We don't. That is very true. We know. We know he can't walk and really is in a wheelchair. No one has ever seen him stand up because when he gets up, he puts um going away on his thing before he gets up because he's really wheeling away. <laughs> By the way, uh, Sam Hill, that that is Jimmernam, isn't it? Hankenstein five thousand. You don't send 50, the same tweet fifty four times within an hour calmly. That's some insane shit, my nigga. <laughs> You seen Tef take a knee? <laughs> what was he during the national anthem? He took a knee that was balls. Oh! <laughs> but yes, yeah, so, um, it's coming up soon. Less than two weeks away, I'm gonna be at that Chip Live podcast. Gonna be dope. Yes. It better be good. I hopefully, hopefully, it's like the last one where like he'll get the Rock to do a video and Ricky Gervais and stuff. But it'll probably just have Mary Jane up on the stage this time. Oh, you think she's going to go to Boston? See, uh, have you seen any of her uh, footage of her acting career, should we say? Yeah. I I, I can't watch it because do you ever get a friend at a party and you see some sleazy guy taking advantage of a drunk girl or a, or a stupid girl? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the feeling I get uh, when I watch her... Uh, Documentaries. <laughs> Documentaries, yeah. Oh, no. Vita, what a great point. Jimmer is going insane over a girl he never fucked. That's crazy shit. Yeah, exactly. Like he's, he's, but do you know why, Vito? Because because Jimmer and um, Jimmer and I'm clearly thought he was like dating her or in a relationship with uh, Tara's arse or whatever her name is. Yeah, exactly. This is a nut job, yeah. So whatever happened, Kyle, I remember you saying ages ago that you were, you were going to start a podcast. Did you just drop that and go with the stream instead? Yeah. There's a you lot. should fucking try it again. But, well, here's the thing. If I was monetized, I would probably live stream on this channel and then cut it up into a podcast and put it on the main channel. Uh, That's what I was thinking of doing and just making that the podcast. Because, you know, obviously things would have to be edited because it gets wild, though, in here sometimes. But <laughs> I, I, I think that because uh, cause even if you do a podcast and, and like you've got a good following, like you get what at least, uh, well, at least 800 to 1,000 views per clip, right? Yeah. So um, imagine how that would do with podcast downloads and then advertiser would go, uh, hello, uh, Zion Zed, can I advertise uh, Pecker Pills on your goddamn show, Brother Ben? Yeah. <laughs> See, and then you'd be, you be like, fuck yeah, motherfucker, 500 bucks. Broke Bar's running a podcast. I was on Broke Bar last night for like five, ten minutes. Because he was talking about that whole uh, K Vortex and Jeff Henson thing. And I had to call in because I find that so fucking fascinating and funny. <laughs> but yeah, I was on Broke Bar Show like 10 minutes yesterday. About a podcast. Yeah, so that was what, always what I envisioned. Like, hopefully, if YouTube ever reviewed my fucking channels for the monetization thing and like didn't suck. And, like, both channels are monetized. I'd leave this channel just for the live streams. And then the next day I would cut it up and present that as the podcast on the other channel. Because if, if this company does take me on uh, as, uh, you know, if I'm getting paid to, YouTube, uh, to podcast for them, I'm done with YouTube. Rana Alvarez, there's some Narragansett engine on my mom's side. They used to bring me to fucking powwows when I was a kid. Ugh. Adds me in a little cake for the Kyle spit talking. <laughs> ah, no, nigga. Unlike Jim and I know how to uh, get that ad revenue. 
But then the other thing as well about ads these days, even when you are monetized, you need to get a lot of views to make any type of money from it. Well, yeah, I know that. But plus I also know um, smartly, like if I'm only going to get a thousand views on a video to make that video two and a half hours fucking long. So you can work it that way too, which is a great way. Like I've made $20 off of a video before that got, I think, 900 views. But it was an hour and a half long. If See, if you know how to work it, it's a very, very amazing thing. But you got to know my, how to work uh, it. My highest ever YouTube payment was uh, $7,400. Yeah, damn. My highest was uh, over Christmas. I think I might have hit 1500 no, but I, I honestly, uh, I, cause guys, the unofficially, officially, if that makes sense, what? run this uh, Kevin Smith channel. Yeah. <laughs> and then the fat cunt fucked me over. <laughs> oh, what, he hit you? <laughs> but that's the thing is, because they sent me an email giving me permission. Yeah. As, as long as I link to like all their websites and shit. Yeah. I, I, I thought I had it made in the shit. I almost quit my real job. Yeah, and I then have like fifty strikes the uh, the next month, and I was like, "You fat piece of shit!" <laughs> so you had it going, then he hit you. What was yeah, the, what was the most money you ever made off of one video? Oh, one? I, I don't know, but uh, in a month, I made seven thousand four hundred. I know. I made. I want to say twelve hundred dollars off of this one video. It, uh, I think it got 45,000 views, but um, it was three and a half hours long. <laughs> <laughs> so um, let's just say there were quite a bit of ads I stuck in that motherfucker. <laughs> uh, now, I, I have a video of it. it. was Kevin Smith pointing out the plot holes of The, the Dark Knight Rises, and it, it had over a million and a half views. Yeah. And it, and it was like an hour and a half long, and there was about 20 ads on it, and I was just thinking, fucking cake for the chipper. <laughs> yeah. Do any but, of that's, you... but that's why I really do think everybody should go with the podcast route, because, uh, and then you can see how it is online, where, um, like, if you did start a podcast, you could, I'd say it'd be very likely you could get Luis J. Gomez on. Yeah. Well, you're, you're still monetized, right? Uh, well, yeah, but well, yes, but uh, I'm what do you call it yellow money on nearly everything I upload. Oh, uh, that's that what I was going to ask you. Are they still being because I remember before they deleted my original channel, the fucking yellow badges were pissing me off. I wonder if they ever fixed that. If they're still the, as lame. No, basically, everything when you're monetized, everything gets accepted straight away. Yeah. But then if they, once they listen to it, see if somebody says a rude word such as ass or butt or something like that, then you get the yellow money. Oh, so they, then they have fixed it because back when they were first started doing it, it was a completely random thing and just they were yellow badging most of it. And the thing that sucks about that is that most of your views come in the first two days, but to, for them to do a review in 99% of the time, they switched it back to green. But you get the review two weeks later when you already got all the views on your video. Did you ever hear uh, what started the uh, monetization rules changing? Wasn't it? Um, it was Logan Paul, wasn't it? No, no, it was no, the, the N word thing, right? No, it was the Indians. The Indians? Yeah, cause the, so just say say some guy from India would would get a video of uh, I don't know somebody eating a sandwich for eleven minutes. <laughs> uh, they would then send that video to a click farm, and it would get like fourteen thousand views a day for a month. So it would get like eight hundred thousand views. That person would make about uh, like twenty thousand rupees or whatever they have over there. Yeah. And YouTube sort of realized and Google realized these guys are totally fucking us out of money. So that's so everybody gets the blame because of the Indians. Oh, and I hate those fuck because anytime you Google, you put in the YouTube search bar like a question about YouTube, it's just 80 million Indian channels that pop up. It's like 
Speak English. I, Cause I th- want to have to set up the live stream. Because these motherfuckers get secret. Like, I think there's some secret out, out there how to become monetized, but it's only on the Indian channels. And they won't, like, type it. They all can write English, but they refuse to speak it. It was, from what I could pick up, something about... Um, when you um, hit like the 4,000 watch hours and the 1,000 subscribers, delete every video on your fucking channel, and then they'll monetize you right away. So, it was so, I don't know if that's exactly it, because they don't speak fucking English. <laughs> <laughs> they got all these little fucking tricks, but they refuse to speak English in any of their goddamn videos. Yeah, but the, I tell you, the Indians are in Everton. They're the ones that, that come up with the... Uh... What do you call it? The, the bot accounts on the Twitter and stuff? Fucking, uh, I didn't say they talked. I, I was saying I'm, I'm going to be talking. about Shade's calendar hates my live streams. He likes my other channel. It is it is good. Well, that's my, that's my other cha- channel is what I'm really based on. I'm not based on being a live streamer. I've had to switch it up because YouTube's gay and now I basically got to <laughs> rely on donations to keep you know, justify doing this, but if I was monetized, just go with my original channel. When that channel fucking exploded, I was doing a live stream once a week, and it was just basically a wrap up of everything I talked about that week. And I was doing like at least six videos a day. Yeah, that that's what I still love doing. Was it five a day or nothing at all? And but you know, it's fucked up. One of the one of the wrestling podcasts actually gave me a shout out. Oh yeah. And my hope is to somehow get them to come on as a guest on the my <laughs> podcast. Um, do you follow that TV tracks fucking channel? I uh, used to, but it's too negative. I'm I'm Mister Positivity over here. Well, I don't think they posted in months. Probably got demonetized because what they did was they would post clips from all the wrestling podcast. I don't I haven't watched wrestling in fucking two decades, but I like listening to the podcast. Like I that solo monster dude and that Don Tony dude and Jim Cornette. Like I like listening to cause they talk about back in the day mostly. Back when I Fuck used to yeah. watch. So but I this one channel would put them all together, but I haven't seen a post in fucking months. Maybe you're right though. I'm just gonna click on yeah the last post they did was three months ago. And oh, and they're still monetized. Oh, so maybe they're dead. That is a possibility. You know, there's a lot of people on social media and on YouTube where if they stopped posting and they weren't famous, they really just died. <laughs> like sometimes that's just what it is. Well, my my whole thing is uh, if I can get this podcast signed. Oh, by the way, can I plug a friend's channel? Go for it. Uh, you, uh, you actually, uh, I'm going to send a link to your uh, Discord page. He's uh, a colored fella from America, too. He's very uh, pro-Trump. It it's like a, f- a film talk type, uh, a film review channel. He's called Mike Kelly. I'm surprised you and him don't know each other, uh, Zin. No, Mike. Well, we don't all know each other, Husey. I mean, uh, no, 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 I mean, I mean uh, because you're like in the art of soul O and A type thing, not because oh. you're, uh, not because you can't get taxis. Oh. <laughs> Many a YouTuber has died on me. Yeah, it happens sometimes. It's fucking stress of YouTubers too much. Oh, like that chick who went in and shot up YouTube. Oh boy, she's going to. Her fan club grows every fucking day. YouTube gets gayer and gayer. <laughs> you know, I was reading the other day that YouTube, uh, they shut, they're starting to shut down the accounts of, because you know they only kids like Logan Paul? Yeah. Well, kids are now boxing their friends and uploading shit, and now YouTube's getting hate for the fact that they promoted a fight aimed at children. Yeah. The, are, you, are you getting in trouble in the house there? No. Where, where did the ceiling tiles go? That's what I've got to know. Where did the ceiling tiles go? Oh, you mean up over here? Oh, yeah. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I think when I moved in here, there was no ceiling tiles down here. Uh, did anybody... 
See, before you went with the names, James Reeves, did you ever think of going with Carl Sealand Carl Sealand Tiles? Carl Sealand Tiles. <laughs> no, 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 it's kind of clever. Um, very soon you will not be seeing these sand tiles, though, or any of this. Moving house. Yeah, that's why you're hearing a bunch of banging and shit. <laughs> I thought that was just because it was some. Who is upstairs? Oh. Or they could just be fighting upstairs, who knows? <laughs> but I see uh, somebody leaves a comment here saying, Vito Filelio, I don't know what that name says, Jimmer's an ex YouTube shooter. I'm, I'm saying uh, Jimmer and I'm going to be the first live streamer to commit suicide. Uh, I just know I'm going to be doing the video one day. Go. You'll be laughing your balls off? I'll try and do a series of videos. Guys, we, what we all knew was going to happen happened. Yeah. And apparently, Jim and Am is fucking dead. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Just with a belt strap and fucking sunglasses on, hanging. It's fucking. It probably, uh, it probably starved to death. <laughs> it just starved to death. By the way, what time is it there in the US of A? 12.30 p.m. There's Linda online. What's up, honey? Oh! Yeah, so he went nuts last night, though, which I found 54 of the same tweets. Pretty fucking funny, if you ask me. But when he does inevitably end it, I I'll take it. I'll do a serious video. I, I won't trash him in it. I, I, I will in the live stream I do, but, you know, the quick little three-minute video, I won't. <laughs> Well, and to show your, your sympathy, you should be eating yourself, uh, eating some cake and shit. <laughs> oh, wait. Penelope says, then Kyle can call his mom the F with her. <laughs> yes. but he, did, did he, is it true that he's still talking about that guy's uh, brother, Dan? Yeah, he's in that. He in the same stream, he apologized to him and then later started trashing him. He's such a dick, like. Kyle, Pawtucket lost the Paw Sox. Kyle is now the most important thing from Pawtucket. <laughs> I know we lost the Paw Sox. I'll tell you how they lost the Paw Sox. They built a new fucking stadium. Fucking Sam Hills here. That's how you lose a... Back when I was growing up, the Paw Sox thing was like... Very little. You could rent out the side to like barbecue and shit. While they're playing a fucking baseball game, it was weird. very minor leagueish. Then they built like this fucking actual baseball park. But forgetting, we live in fucking small ass Rhode Island. <laughs> so who, who did you think was gonna go there? And then I used to live right next to it, so you would get fan tickets and shit. They were basically just giving out tickets for free just to get people in the fucking place to start buying shit. But everyone knew they were gonna leave. Here, uh, what's your take on um, Paul Flart? Is this, is all right? Is he a made up internet thing, or is there really a guy named Paul Flart who got fired from party? It has to be. Well, made up. well, that's not his real name, of course. But I mean, uh, yeah, he's a real person. So it was a wall security cop or something who got fired for uh, wow. farting. <laughs> Would you like to hear some? Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Nigga, is this like a whole recording or is this one time or they record them over time? Basically, he would, uh, once a day, he would film himself farting and somebody, and then he would send it to his Instagram and somebody's made a, made a, a montage of them. Here's some more. Here's 10 seconds more. Now get ready for these. They can <laughs> actually hear, they can actually hear the blood in his arse. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> uh, the family guy is based in Quahog, Rhode Island, which is not a real place. 
Uh, I said, yeah, I would have fired that fuck too. Fuck him. <laughs> if he was doing that imagine, at work. Imagine he worked at like a funeral parlor or something. <laughs> oh my god. That shit is disgusting, my nigga. <laughs> Paul No, but Clark. apparently, uh, I've said to the, the link to your Discord because he puts the camera right in his face and he's got this shitty mustache. Yeah, I see him. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> of course that's what he looks like. Nigga looks like an offensive lineman or some shit. But you want to know what the thing is, see, because he's famous now? Yeah. He'll probably end up banging Asa Akira by the end of the month. Oh, you know, we're getting the Paul Flart podcast. Um, they're going to be on Fallon and shit. That, but, that, but that's what you need to do, uh, Carl. Start your podcast. Try to get Luis J. Gomez on. See what Danny's on, and then each episode try to have five minutes with Paul Flart while he's eating curry and shit. <laughs> Paul Flart. Five minutes with Paul Flart. Yeah. Cohogs that I, are delicious. On Inside the Actor Studio, Paul Flart. I mean, so he did it at work uh, every day. Yeah. So what did someone stumble upon his little video montage there and was just like. Let's get rid of this fucking guy. I would have. No, that, that's the thing. He would put that on his own Instagram page, like one fart a day. And then his bosses were like, what are you, a fucking retard over here? Yeah. <laughs> Pawtucket Patriot Ale. Yeah. I, I love that commercial on Family Guy. Pawtucket Patriot Beer. If you drink it, hot girls will have sex with you. <laughs> What's your opinion on Seth MacFarlane? Um, unlike most people, but I've always said I'm bad when it comes to comedy movies. I like that A Million Ways to Die in the West. I think he's funny. But you don't think he's kind of a hypocrite? Where like, like if you watch Family Guy, they're doing jokes about like Down Syndrome kids and rape jokes and racist stuff. Yet on Twitter, he's then going, "Oh, Donald Trump's words are problematic." Oh, yeah, but I think he would argue I'm not president or something, which I would be like, that's the problem. I want my president saying ill shit like that. That's dope. Like, I wish, isn't that great that Trump could just say shit like that? (laughs) Did you hear that Trump's coming uh, to Ireland in November? Oh, is he? Yeah. Hey, what's up, you bunch of cunts? (laughs) I heard that uh, your women have big asses over here. Let's fucking see it. Let's party. <laughs> fucking Trump in Ireland. What is he? I, he's Scottish, right? Trump. So uh, I don't know what the fuck. No, he's all American. Real American man. <laughs> I think he's both probably Scottish and Irish. He's part Scottish, part uh, Irish, part uh, rapist. <laughs> Uh, that would so he's gonna go to are you gonna go protest as I'm sure half of your country will be I wanna fucking meet him I like him well don't like him I think he's funny I remember um, when he went to what was it England and they showed all the protesters then I stumbled upon a YouTube channel that goes here's what the media wouldn't show you and like 50,000 people supporting him (laughs) they're like now the media just showed the protest against him that's the thing. Uh, but what, what the media won't let you know is that there's there's more Trump supporters here than than they'll uh, let on because there's a th- here Sam. If you're going to do a bad pun, you got to learn how to spell my name first. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, because like over here, immigration is fucking out of control. And our homeless, this situation is getting crazy. But this, this is the way I see it. And of course, people accuse you of racism, but but like, like you've got kids, right, Carl? Yeah. Right. So when you guys are all having dinner, if the, do, you, do you say to them, "Wait, stop, stop! I've got to go over to my neighbors here and see how they're doing first. Yeah, or do exactly. You take care of your own first. Yeah, people don't have to mind their own damn business. Yeah, it's just like so fucking. Um, that's why my whole thing is just uh, take care of yourself first and then others. Yeah. All right, Hughie, well, it's been fun. I went on for an hour on a Sunday. I gave you people something. I got to go. 
I'm no problem, sweetie. Starving. Goddamn Stanley <laughs> Burger, why don't you open? I'm going to have to try order honey. something. What am I going to order from? What do I want, Husey? Do I want Taco Bell? Order uh, noodles from Jim and I'm. <laughs> Do I want Wendy's? Do I want House of Pizza? Well, we have none of that over here, so I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> How do you live with no Taco Bell? My God. Yeah. Well, that's why nobody gets colon cancer here. <laughs> Maybe, but I uh, do Weighing the options. I'd rather just have oh. the Taco Bell. <laughs> fuck yeah. All right. Thank you, Husey. And um, hit the donations. Help me order food and stuff. <laughs> and we've started the new September goal. We're about 3% of the way. <laughs> yeah, and fucking follow Kyle on Twitter. The guy needs followers. Yeah, follow me on Twitter. There, it's right under my name, right there, my Twitter thing, at Sands Rages. All right, I got to go uh, join this white clown rally, so I'll see you soon. All right, peace, easy. And uh, thank you for watching.